It is far too quiet in here. If you wanted to put on some music or a podcast or something, I wouldn't hold it against you, you know. <laughs> yes, I am still here. Trish gave me quite the look when I told her she could go home. Well, she may be my secretary, but she also has certain motherly tendencies. I appreciate it sometimes, but other times I'd rather her not scowl at me when her intuition starts to kick in. She knows me fairly well and is well aware that you are also working late and no one else is. Problem? No, not a problem. She's noted our distance since our dinner trip. Yes, we took a trip to dinner. Ah, uh, <clears throat> it was most certainly not a date. I do not go on dates. It was a business dinner. Even put it on the company card, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Ethical? I mean, <laughs> you're more than welcome to question my ethics, but... Starting with me taking an employee out for dinner is hardly what I'd consider a strong start. <laughs> you want me to self-report, snitch? <laughs> mm. You'll have to try harder than that, Rook. So, how is... Uh, work going. Still a bit left to do. Hmm. <sighs> now, <clears throat> be honest. You didn't slow down just to see if I really would stay late with you, did you? <laughs> uh, I wish I could say that I sent you the wrong file on purpose to test you or create some sort of scenario where I'd get to scold you for fun. But no, that, that's not actually what happened. I spent the rest of my day trying to figure out how I could have screwed up so badly, and there is no trace of me ever updating my personal archive with the correct files, so um, it is... Slightly alarming that my personal computer appears to have been tampered with. <sighs> or it is within the realm of possibility that it may have just been a mistake. <sighs> no, it's... <sighs> I don't care to admit it. But it is much more likely than any sort of actual security breach. But it feels off. I'm careful about things. Anal, even. <laughs> it is a word. It does have, it means things. It means that I am particular. And you. <laughs> Anyway, ultimately, we figured out what went wrong, and it wasn't some sort of dire mistake. This isn't exactly a phrase that I use very often, but it really is no big deal. Just have to deal with some mild embarrassment and wounded pride. Though, I do trust that today's mishap will be kept between us 
along with these extracurricular activities. Well, yes, personal conversations and such are certainly extracurricular for me, at least. I've made it a habit to avoid connections and relationships because they can be burdensome. <sighs> Haven't we been over this already? I mean, I'm the burden. I don't have my head wedged so deep in my ass that I think caring makes me weak. I care. Mind you, I am choosy about who and what I care about, but I... I do care. I also recognize that I bring a unique collection of hang-ups, deficiencies, and bullshit to the table. Things that I don't divulge immediately, or ever, because there are implications. And that's fine. I chose this. It wasn't done to me. I took stock of circumstance and gauged it against the measure of myself, my character, my hopes and dreams, all of it. And I also considered who and what may have been left to deal with those circumstances if I stepped aside. I know, I'm... I'm talking a lot without saying much. So let me pose you a question. Have you ever... just... known? You find yourself in a situation, and in a moment, you feel something in your soul. It's an answer to a question you never thought to ask, in words that you could never speak. It doesn't have to be some sort of huge moment in your life, even. It can be small. It can be a compulsion to tell someone to thank you or that you love them. Small acts of kindness or care that you pass on to someone for some reason you simply felt like they needed it. For me, I've experienced those moments of inspiration in a few ways. Sometimes when I write, a thought just takes root and I have to put it to paper. But there are other times, times when you just know and I can think of nothing more tragic than to hear that call and not answer. It's magical, or certainly feels like it. I choose to believe that there's something to it. Otherwise, what? We're all just wandering, clinging to chance encounters and hope. I want more than that. Not just for myself, but for others. Faust. My brother. Yeah, he is quite the brat. But all I can do is hope that he finds his own way through it all. <laughs> you noticed the attitude, huh? He's angry. He used to hide it, but even when we met, I saw a little boy with such a deep-seated anger in him that I knew, even as a child myself, he was dangerous. Uh, right. Half-brothers. Two different parents. My mother, his father. <laughs> no, 
I... I did not approve. But I thought more of my mother's short-term happiness than my own personal feelings. But I knew. I knew something was wrong. And I said nothing. No, 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 you're right. There... <laughs> There was no way I could have known he was not someone I'd want my mother to wed. But it's like I said, sometimes in life, you know. <sighs> what is this? I've not even had a glass of wine and you've got me chatting away. I'm not... <clears throat> I'm not distracting you, am I? <clears throat> I thought not. Well, we can't have that, can we? I think you deserve a challenge. Why don't you offer me your seat? Standing around hovering over your shoulder is only fun for so long. I have another idea. Oh, thank you, Rook. Now, you may have a seat and finish your work within the hour, preferably. Yes, on my lap. You are capable of maintaining your focus under such conditions, aren't you? <laughs> Careful. That confidence might get you in trouble. 